So another piano that I wanted to show you was the Olafur Arnold's Composer Toolkit. This has a beautiful felted grand. We always hear about felted uprights, but this is um, a felted grand piano. I wanted to experience myself. With the Composer's Toolkit, you get not only the piano, but you get a lot of other textures and things that Olafur uses uh, in his compositions. He loves using synthesizers and really incorporating those textures in his uh, composition. And this is a um, contact player instrument. We have the um, Composer's Toolkit that has the warps and the synths, but let's focus on the grand piano. And so we can drop that in. You can see we've got a very simple interface here. So they use some really beautiful, yeah, let's just get some a little more information on this, yeah. So this is a 1904 Bechstein Grand that was customized with different types of felt. They've got the uh, KM84s and then the ribbon mics from Kohl's with the ribbons. And it looks like it's a mono signal as well. And they've processed it with uh, different things like the space echoes and things. So let's just dive in. So now let's uh, dial in the ribbon, the ribbon microphones and add some warmth to it. Now having those ribbon, that ribbon signal, just to me, ribbon microphones are so silky and so this is the basic signals here. And then we've got another set of mix. So the mics are mixed and then they add like a, a spatial, like where they process it through the space echo to give us a little, little textures here. Let's see, let's get into a different key. So the mix slider is a mix of the uh, KM84s and the Coles, and then we've got this texture. Let's just play the texture so you can kind of hear, hear that. So they process that through the Roland Space Echo and some other things. And then when you blend in the, the mic mix. Okay. Yeah. And so you just want a little hint of that sometimes just to give it a light, like a nice flavor. I want to bring it down a little bit more. I 
I think the Grand has a it has a more open sound. The felted grands, like you have this one, and then you have Noir, which is another felted grand. Something about the grand gives it a little more space, a little more openness. And the upright it gets even more intimate and close. And that's uh, the same thing, I guess, with the intimate grand piano. Although it's not felted, it's a smaller studio grand uh, smaller Steinway, and so that uh, that kind of helps give a, even a more intimate sound than just tr uh, using a you know seven or nine foot uh, concert grand. But I really like the sound of this, along with the um, the felted piano. Like I said, you get some additional uh, textures. These really cool uh, Evo. textures, you know. To give it that really wild Icelandic type sound, you know. There's so many textures and things out there. And the mod wheel does some things. And this is Olafur, Olafur's Kalimba. And it sounds almost like a Celeste to me instead of a Kalimba for some reason. It's just got such a nice. And then you can actually, let's see if we can do this, uh, do this real quick. Uh, let me just load the piano. Yeah, I'll just load this. I'll load this on another another slot and then I'll just assign it. And that way you can kind of layer it with the kalimba. The kalimba gives a nice, really crisp bell-like attack. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and mute this. Let's pull another texture. Yeah, you've got organic warps. Let's do the space piano. I'm gonna drag it into that first uh, section here. And this was just really heavily processed through that uh, Roland space echo. And the... And then you just bring in the piano again. And it just adds and creates something totally different. That's wild. Yes.